What's going on everybody, it's Patrick Dang here. And in this video, we're gonna go over a live cold call script where I'm gonna be a business development person working at TikTok, trying to sell advertising to a gaming studio. So if you're ready for this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, turn on notifications if you wanna see more sales training videos like this, and let's get into the live cold call role play. Hello? Hey Tom, this is Patrick from TikTok. How are you doing today? Uh, hey Patrick, I'm doing fine. What is this about again? Well, actually Tom, I'm a little lost. Do you mind if I take a second to tell you why I'm calling? Yeah, sure. All right, great. I'm actually from the strategic partnerships team at TikTok. And basically what I do is I help gaming studios just like yours reach new audiences uh, by advertising on our platform. And I'm sure you're already familiar with TikTok, right? Oh yeah, um, that's where everyone's doing those trendy dances, right? <laughs> yep, exactly. Well, not only are we known for our trendy dances, but I've actually been supporting a lot of mobile gaming companies advertise on our platform and, you know, helping them get more downloads on uh, the App Store and the Google Play Store. And the reason I'm calling is because I want to take five minutes to see if it makes sense for us to work together in any way and see if you would be interested in advertising on our platform at all. Now, by the end of the call, if we find that, hey, you know, maybe it makes sense for us to work together, great, we can move on to what the next step would be. But if not, totally fine. Does that sound fair to you? Okay, sure, sounds fair to me. All right, cool. Now, you know, I actually did a little research and saw you and your team were advertising pretty heavily on Facebook, which is great to see. Uh, and you know, a lot of our clients have been finding that even though Facebook is working, it's becoming a lot more crowded and expensive to reach their customers. And I was curious to know, you know, what was your experience like when it comes to, you know, advertising on Facebook recently? Oh, that's actually interesting to hear. Um, Facebook has been profitable for us for a while now, but I'm in a similar situation where the cost per install has actually been going up. You know, the margins are still okay, but you know, if it gets more competitive in the future and the cost goes up, I'm not actually sure if we can, um, you know, keep getting a return on investment right. when it comes to advertising on Facebook. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Uh, the more crowded the market, obviously, the harder it's gonna be. Now, uh, you know, another thing I was curious about is, have you ever explored different advertising channels so that, you know, Facebook isn't the only one that you rely on to get new customers? Yeah, we've been looking at a few ad networks, but, you know, the ones that I personally checked out either are overpriced or their network just isn't large enough to make spending money on the platform worth it for us. Okay, I see. And what platforms have you tried so far? Well, personally, I checked out a couple like um, AppLift for info. Uh, we tried Google Ads, Mob Vista. But like I said again, you know, for my initial research, these platforms, you know, didn't really seem like the best fit. All right, thanks for letting me know. So after doing all of that research, what are you gonna do next? Because it doesn't seem like finding another network doesn't seem all that easy. Honestly, Patrick, I'm the director of acquisition here, so it's my job to figure out, you know, what platform we need to expand on. And that's what everyone wants to do, and we're definitely pushing in that direction. But right now, I just don't really have the time to vet all these companies and, you know, to make sure well, we should even invest time and money into it. So because Facebook is just working really well right now, yeah. uh, you know, I just kind of been sticking with that as of lately. Yeah, I totally get that. You know, there are only so many hours in a day. You know, one thing that you mentioned that I found really interesting was that you said Facebook right now was your only source of traffic when it comes to getting new customers. Now, that's actually really great to hear that it's working so well for you. But, you know, do you ever worry about, you know, what happens if your Facebook ad account gets shut down or, you know, the cost to acquire a customer or install might be too high? Do you feel concerned about that in any way? Yeah, that's fair to say. In a way, we're kind of like a one-legged stool. Um, I mean, if I could find a good platform to expand our business on, you know, that would make me feel a little more secure, definitely. Hmm, that's really interesting to hear, Tom. You know, a lot of other mobile games like League of Legends, Wild Rift, and Arena of Valor have really been finding a lot of success when it comes to advertising on TikTok and getting more installs that way. Um, and because these kind of games are very similar to kind of what you're doing, you know, I actually feel like TikTok might be an interesting avenue for you to explore. Is that something you might be interested in? Oh, is that right? League of Legends, really, huh? Okay, interesting. Well, maybe we can actually check this out. All right, that's great to hear. And Tom, do you mind if I go ahead and make a recommendation? Sure. 
Now, if you're actually serious about exploring TikTok as a new advertising channel, generally what we can do is our next step would be to set up another meeting with you and anyone else on your team that you feel we should include on a discovery call. And we're gonna take 30 minutes to really dive deep and understand your business and understand what your goals are, right? From who you're trying to reach, uh, how you're trying to reach them, how to make the numbers make sense. And you know, once we understand all of your goals, what we can do is create a custom advertising solution specifically for you to reach those goals. And you know, is that something you might be interested in? Yeah, that sounds okay to me, but don't you think TikTok is mainly for, you know, kids doing trendy dances? I'm not sure if people using TikTok will have the will be in the mindset of wanting to, you know, download a game and install it and, you know, cuz the attention span is so short. I totally understand your point there, Tom. And you know what's interesting is that a lot of other gaming studios that I've talked to in the past, they said the exact same thing. But here's the thing, attention is key. So for TikTok, it is the fastest growing social media network out right now. We have hundreds of millions of people coming back onto the platform every single day. So we have their attention. And even though they might be watching a lot of, you know, meme content, funny videos and dances, right, which gets them on the platform, the most important thing to really realize is that we have their attention. And what we can actually do is we can help train your advertising team to create advertisements specifically for TikTok that will get you your return on investment that you are looking for. So even if people are kind of scrolling really fast and you know maybe their attention span isn't that high, it's high enough and if you do it in a certain way, you can actually get the installs for a relatively cheap price because you know our platform, although it's very popular, only now larger advertisers are starting to get onto the platform. So by coming on early, you're able to access this huge market for a cost that would be much cheaper relative to the other platforms that you're checking out. And when it comes to helping gaming studios like yours, you know, actually put out the ad, create the ad and, you know, get the ROI. We've done that for dozens of uh, gaming studios just like yours. And I'm very confident, you know, based on the quality of your game and how you're running your business, we can do a similar result for you. Does that sound fair? Yeah, that's actually true. Facebook ads actually do work in a similar way now that I think about it. All right, well, you know, what do we do from here then? Okay, cool. So like I said before, what we can do is go ahead and schedule that next discovery call. And, you know, just curious, is there anyone else you think we should actually invite on this call on your end? Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and bring uh, my boss, Sarah. Sarah's the VP of marketing here. All right, great. And does this week work for you? Yeah, Wednesday, Wednesday is good. All right, I got 10 a.m. available on my calendar. How's that? Perfect. All right, great. So it was nice talking to you, Tom. I'm really looking forward to talking to you and Sarah on Wednesday, 10 a.m. this week. And uh, have a great rest of the day. All right, bye. All right, thanks, Patrick. You too, bye. All right, guys, so that's gonna be the cold call role play. As you can see, uh, during that cold call, I didn't come in from the perspective of wanting to sell, sell, sell. Instead, I want to build a relationship, ask a lot of questions, understand what pains the prospect had and see if I can align my solution to the prospect's pain, right? In this example, Tom had the problem of only relying on Facebook advertising as a way to get new users and he couldn't find a better network out there. So what I did was I positioned TikTok as another avenue that he could potentially explore. And I didn't necessarily sell him anything quite on the first call. Instead, what I did was I listened to him, understand his pain, and then I did what I needed to do to set up the next call where I'm gonna dive a little deeper to understand Tom's problems and the company's problems. And then from there, we can do a presentation or demonstration to make sure that it's the right fit for them. So the main important thing is I'm not selling quite yet. I'm qualifying and scheduling the next meeting. And that's what you wanna do on your cold calls. So with that said, if you enjoyed this cold call video and if you wanna see more, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and let me know in the comments, do you wanna see more videos like this? And what was your number one takeaway? So that said, my name is Patrick Dang, and I am going to see you guys in the next one.